Hello, my fellow nerds. Today is Wednesday. I know it feels like it's been forever. It, like, so I decided I'm only going to do like two episodes a week, and I was going to make it Monday and Friday. Um, I didn't do one on Monday because I was going to do one with Bailey today, but um, I forgot that she does not have half day today. She normally has half days on Wednesdays, and of course, the one Wednesday. She doesn't have a half day, so <laughs> kind of doing a last-minute podcast here. If you are a returning listener, thank you so much. You have no idea how thankful I am for you for listening to all my episodes and coming back each time and listening. You guys are amazing, and I love you so much. If you are new to my podcast, hello. Thank you for listening and checking out my little tiny podcast, my podcast with two feet in a heartbeat, as they say. If you could like, subscribe, review my podcast on whatever platform you're listening to, that makes a big difference. Makes it would be it would be great. It makes a big help. Uh, my chickens would love it too. And yes, I have chickens, and you might hear them. I don't know. They're right outside my window. <laughs> I don't have an intro, so I'm just going to tell you. This is the Nerd in Texas podcast. I talk about movies, TV shows, books, video games, and Anything you might consider nerdy. Um, This is how it's going to go down. I will talk about my topic for today. And today that is Thunder Force on Netflix. And yes, I have to say it like that. Because there's... Watch it and you'll see. There will not be any spoilers. Because I want to encourage you guys to go out and watch this movie. It's hilarious. So I'm not going to give anything away. Then I'm going to talk about anything new with my podcast or myself. Am I in trouble at school? We shall find out. Stick around, listen, find out what happened to me at school. So, Thunder Force. I can't say it the way they say it. It's hilarious. But Thunder Force on Netflix. It is everything I would be if I became a superhero. It has Melissa McCarthy, who I adore, who I love. She is like... (sighs) You know how people have those, like, actors or whatever that you, like, aspire to be or whatever? Like, oh, if I was an actress, I would want to be like her. That's her. That's that's me. That's her. That's <laughs> She's my spirit animal. If I were to become an actress, she's who I would want to be. She's, like, the holy grail for me. It has Octavia Spencer, who plays, well, she's Emily Stanton in the movie. And then you have... Jason Bateman as the crab. Like, Melissa McCarthy and Jason Bateman together is probably the best duo on the planet for any comedy movie. And it it's just, it's just awesome. It's hilarious. It's funny. You've got to watch it. IMDB says, in a world terrorized by supervillains. One woman has developed the process to give superpowers to regular people. But when scientist Emily Stanton accidentally imbues her estranged best friend with incredible abilities, the two women must become the first superhero team. Now it is up to Thunder Force to battle the superpowered miscreants and save Chicago from the clutches of the king. I feel like I did good. I feel like I could do like movie trailers where they're like, in a world. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I I could try. So the show is really, or the movie, is really about Lydia and Emily. And they grow up to be best friends. Um, Emily is always getting picked on for being really smart. You know, they always call her a nerd. And she's like, I'm not a nerd. I'm really smart. And Lydia is always sticking up to the bullied, and Emily is one of them. They end up having a falling out in high school. Emily is extremely smart and devotes her whole life to completing her parents' work. They were trying to create superheroes to help fight against the miscreants. Miscreants are people who got superpowers by a blast, and some miscreants killed their parents. So Melissa McCarthy's character, Lydia is me, if I was a superhero. She doesn't take anything seriously. She just goofs off 
she's, you know, the fun, she's fun. And Emily's smart. Lydia's fun. Emily's smart. They, they are best friends, but they also kind of butt heads at the same time. She kind of grows up to have a crappy job and is holding on to the past. She messes everything up and drives Emily crazy. There is a high school reunion. And after Lydia finds out that Emily is not going and doesn't show up, Lydia goes to get Emily. And that's my cat. Okay, I'm back. She was yelling at me to open the window because I have this huge hole in my screen and that's how she gets in and out of the house sometimes, <laughs> is through this <laughs> hole in my window. But anyways, so Emily grows up and she ends up being like the female Tony Stark, more like the female Banner. And she's a super successful scientist. She has a ton of money. She has a huge lab in Chicago where it's got like her last name plastered all over the building and she creates a way to create superheroes so Lydia being the screw up that she is she goes to get Emily at this for this high school reunion goes into the lab and gets injected with what makes her makes the superheroes Lydia is immediately like mad and upset because that was actually meant for her she was going to um inject herself with these superpowers so she can help fight against miscreants. She created two superpowers, so Lydia has one superpower, and Emily decides she's going to take the other. Now for the crab. (laughs) The crab is played by Jason Bateman, and I love it. I love him. He's so funny in anything that he's in. I Even when he's something serious, like, I love the show The Ozarks. It's very, even though it's very dark and kind of crazy, that show is actually amazing. And I can't wait for the new season to come out. And I know it's, like, the new and final season. He's just, like, a comedic genius as the crab in this movie. And you have to see him and pay attention to him. Like, watch him in the background of some of the scenes. It is so funny. You just have to kind of, like, pay attention to the little tiny things he does. And me, I am that weirdo that, like, the small things are what cracks me up and is hilarious. So if you want to watch a superhero movie that kind of makes fun of superhero movies, but also has answers to some superhero type questions, <laughs> you need to watch this movie. It's so funny. It definitely will put you in a good mood. It'll definitely like <laughs> just make you laugh. Um, it's definitely family friendly. There's nothing inappropriate that nobody could really watch. Um, there's nothing really new with my podcast but hey nerds you know I love helping you out so I'm giving you a little tidbit on if you are wanting to start a podcast I highly suggest you start it with anchor it's the easiest way to make a podcast and let me explain one it's free there are creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or your computer anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on spotify Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. It really is like the perfect way to start a podcast. And of course, if you have any questions, just ask me. So, am I in trouble in school? So far, I have absolutely no idea. I have heard nothing from the dean. He said I would sometime hear something or get an email or a letter or whatever. A letter meaning a, like, certified document in my email. The beginning of this week. It is now Wednesday. And I've heard nothing. So I don't know what's going to happen at this point. It's either, like, I'm really hoping nothing's going to happen to me because I didn't do anything wrong. But that's not how the perfect world works. And so, I mean, I... Do take accountability for what I said and what I said about that kid. I never said anything 
to this guy. So, we'll just see what happens. There's nothing really new with my podcast, just that I'll be getting my stickers and my keychains today. Whoop, whoop. I'm a little excited. If you've already sent me a tip on my Kofi page, you'll be getting a keychain and a sticker. You get a keychain, you get a keychain, you get a sticker, and you get a sticker. If you would like a keychain or and a sticker, you can go to my Kofi page, send me a tip in my tip jar. Does not matter the amount, I don't care, it could be a dollar. Or you can purchase these items in my shop on the Kofi page, and you can pick your price. You can pick how much ever you want to give me for. I mean, it's basically like a donation, but still makes it easier. Um, I hope you love my podcast today. I know it's short, but I didn't plan for this podcast. It was supposed to be one with Bailey, but she has school. <laughs> she doesn't have a half day. She doesn't have a half day. Um, I love you. I love every single one of you. I wish I could squeeze you. I hope you watch Thunder Force on Netflix because it is so funny and so good. Um, I will be back on Friday for the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Y'all have a great week. I actually have a break this weekend from softball. Lily has cheer competition prep camp because she has a competition coming up in Arlington. So that'll be fun. We get to go to Six Flags. Um, Yeah, so I kind of have a break from all that stuff. And uh, peace, love, and everything nerdy. Y'all have a great bye. A great bye. A great day. Great <laughs> Okay, I give up. Just have a great day, okay? <laughs>